So what made you start trucking? Well, I have a passion for driving. Uh, I, I like to drive everything, honestly. I want to get as much exposure as you can. I want to drive as much as you can. You, you, you can never know where you go for. Yeah. Yeah, that's so because after COVID, I guess coming, truck coming in. Yeah. And then, you know, why it's just coming. You say, I started to get exposure with that same company here in the US, when the standards was given. Yeah. Yeah, so that go back to 2012, 2013 or so. Yeah, and that when I get the uh, meeting one. Tell us about the show. Yeah, we are coming to the International at the um, 94 on July. Yeah, 10 speed it and it and gearbox. Yeah, 6x4, um, yeah. Um, I think you. Hi. So, what made you start trucking? Well, I have a passion for driving. Uh, I, I like to drive everything, honestly. I went already uh, do taxi, uh, doing bus, poster. Well, I don't bother with bus much. Poster, anything. So yeah. I, always, I always figure that once you are like some, um, and you have to want to get as much exposure as you can, and want to drive as much as you can. You, you, you can never feel because you, you can never know where you go for. Yeah. Yeah, so like after COVID, I guess coming, truck coming in too. Yeah. And I didn't, you know, I like, just come on a side thing and make a trip like a sun. Look at side walk and take me car and she was a sheep walk and walk in the night or walk in the day and do something else. Yeah. So that was up. Now it comes like a main thing, like a passion now. Yeah. And, and how long have you been in the trucking industry? Well, you can say, I started like the exposure with that same company here in the US when Sanders was given. Yeah. Yeah, so that go back to 2012, 2013 or so. Yeah, but that when I get the uh, meeting one. I mean, like, so I had a guy snack over here. Yeah, yeah, so uh, as I say, I eat and out of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can never do the trail, more into the trail now prior to 20, 2020. Yeah, but that's what I've done. Would you encourage people to get into trucking? Yeah, I would, I would discourage nobody to get into it. Um, yeah, everybody get into it. Once you have a passion, you want to do it, come into it. It's a skill to have. As I, I, I just said previously, you never know where you're going to end up. Yeah, once you have a skill, I can say you must get a call. Must make a money, so that is our seat. Yeah. yeah. What's your advice for the young and upcoming truckers? Well, in everything you're doing, you, you have to have a passion for day one. Go try to approach it. Get a, I want to say everybody, yes, you are, you're glad you're, you're, you're excited, but do put too much as speed in the beginning. Try to get your precisions and things correctly. And then you have to get there, knowing yeah. what, to, what to do when, when to do what. Imprecise about certain things. Oh, no, I still working on that. You understand? Yeah, man. Eventually, after I see this video coming to place. Yeah. What was your most memorable experience of being a trucker? I had too many. Pass on that dumb truck. I do. I, I, I work in brick water already. Because of the, I do concrete. I used to work. I used to, I used to work with Kenny trucking. Yeah. And don't talk about that. That is probably the most memorable exposure I get. Yeah, too much I think. If, if, if you had to ask me that, we have to have a video. Yeah, we'll talk about that for yourself. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, a lot of things are put to me. We yeah. managed with inspiration. I mean, I capsized once already, but obviously I capsized on the road, all that awful thing. Yeah. yeah. The worst thing we don't talk about, I think we'll talk about. I'm yeah. yeah, that kind of thing I'm saying. What are some things that the government could do to help the trucking industry? Well, uh, to begin with, yeah, they could, they could raise the pay. Yeah, they could raise the pay. They can be friendly on MM, on MM, MM trucking company. I'm all about that. That is how we had to work for. Yeah. And yet, still telling us how we don't do any work. You can raise the pay and do a little better. That's our friends to begin with. Uh -huh. Then they go talk about all the safety requirements and all that thing and everything. And we don't talk about our driver driving because at the end of the day, to keep this, to keep this so super apparatus and them on the road, we have to do a lot of things that is considered impossible. And some may see that's wrong, especially those that don't understand what's going on. Yeah. So they have a lot of things that go both hand in hand. Don't, don't blame the drivers alone because at the end of the day, we are not self driving trucking with really. You understand? Yeah. Still, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, yeah, sometimes if you have one or two drivers might do overdo it, yeah, whatever the case may be, things like that. But you have a lot of things you have to do to keep that truck on them on the road for this man to make it to, to make a happy price. And then we drivers get in the blame still. So the government need to look into that. As well as raise the fee. I'll come back to that. Yeah. Good truck drivers, would you like to big up? Everybody came in concrete, we don't know how to show me how that's going on. Especially, well, to 
can't be chugging, 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 can't be chug